Just as we have homes, Bible stories live in places. And this is one of them. We're in Israel, in Judah's hill country. Judah's hill country is composed of mountains with very steeply sloped sides. And they terminate in very, very narrow V-shaped valleys. As you look up those steep ridges, you see about 60% of it is eroded down to, to bedrock. It looks a little harsh. And my goodness, life here was challenging. You know, the place wasn't so much hostile to the human experience as it was just uncooperative. What I mean by that is we're, we're, we're looking at a space where it's, it's hard to grow your food. Imagine that if the only natural farmland available to you is just in these narrow valley bottoms, there isn't much acreage to farm. And so the reality is you have to quite literally build your farming acres on terraces up these slopes. Some of those take four to 12 years to build just one acre. Imagine that. But you know, the worst of it is water. We all need it, and this place is really challenged for water. Uh, the only water available is rainfall. No streams, no lakes, and it means that I have to dig a well down to the groundwater, or I have to acquire water, runoff water, via a cistern. Uh, it's tough here. And the stories of people like Abraham and Sarah, Naomi and Ruth, sometimes are hard stories being lived out in a, in a hard land. It's helpful to join Abraham and Sarah, Naomi and Ruth, because the same God who cared for them and who lovingly sustained them in life in this place is intentionally right there with you and with me. We have a God who helps us live life even through the hard times we might experience here in Judah's Hill Country.